I don't think it's helpful um, also in terms of how that looks in Iran for me to be looking like I'm playing politics. Um, it's very important that the Iranians um, you know, can see that, that this is just a family who are battling um, to bring Nazanin home and you know, not get this sort of sense that we're some sort of great Machiavellian power mm. and we're not. Now she's on TV in Iran and TV in the UK there's a level of stress and turmoil and um, you know accusations going that she's a spy and so on that that are quite stressful to deal with um, and certainly she talks again about feeling like she's on the edge of a nervous breakdown um, and yeah she's very volatile in her moods clearly when I mean, she's been angry with me um, you know on every phone call we've, we've spoken also cried um, angry just, with you because uh, I didn't answer the phone quickly enough because you know, just angry. Um, not, you know, because, you know, and I keep reassuring her that she'll be home by Christmas and the evidence is anything but that. So angry that, that, you know, it's all unfair and it's gone on so long and now it's all getting messier and nothing gets spoken for however long and now it all seems worse and, and, and just angry. <laughs>